Well, I was going to just talk about this in class, you know, and do some notes with you guys, but people brought in so much pie today that uh, being a pie day, we're doing a little celebration. So I'm not even sure I'm going to get to the notes. I might be just eating banana cream pie and apple pie and all that kind of stuff. It looks awesome. So thanks for bringing in some stuff today to celebrate pie day. We are looking at our final set of formulas and these formulas, you can see their name, you know, we got a product and we're going to a difference or a sum, right? They just call it a sum because you can think about like adding a negative, I guess, <clears throat> but you got to identify which formula to use, right? And so I see like sine times cosine. So I'm going to use this one right here, sine times cosine, right? And, and I'm just going to follow exactly with what they're telling me it's equal to. So I go, let's see, a half and then the quantity sine of the two angles added together. That would be 270 if I add them together, right? And then plus the sine of the two angles subtracted. I think that's going to be 120. And then... We're going to try to answer that question, like the sine of 270. So, right, I'm, I'm thinking about the unit circle. If I was at 270 degrees, boy, we're, we're getting really good at this right now, I think. Uh, 270 is right down here at 0, negative 1, right? So the sine's negative 1. So I go, okay, 1 half of negative 1 plus sine of 120 is going to be this angle right here, right? So the long leg of the 30, 60, 90 triangle that's square root of three over two positive, right? Square root of three over two. And then we multiply the half through, or we just leave the half where it is. Let's see how the back of the book writes it. All right, I always want you guys checking your work. So I opened up, you know, the page where the homework is, and then I opened up a duplicate page on AN, it's like 57 maybe, yep. And so we were just doing number three, right? Oh, no, number one. So we got one half negative one plus square root of three over two. So one half, oh, see how the negative one, they move it to the second term so that we don't lose the negative sign. We got square root of three over two. So square root of three over two minus one. You can just leave it like this. Don't, don't rewrite your answer. All right. I hope I'm making that clear. You identify which formula it is that you need to apply. You apply the formula and you try to simplify, right? Why are we doing this? We're trying to become aware that there are these formulas out there so that when we need them, we can look back for them and find them, right? Okay, the next one, it's not going to involve, I don't think, a unit circle. You, you can't go that far with this. So you just look and you identify which formula we want to apply. I want to apply that top formula. So I'm going to go one half quantity cosine, right? So it says cosine of the two angles subtracted. So I'm going to go four theta minus two theta. Okay, that's going to be two theta. And then I'm going to have minus the cosine of the two angles added. So cosine of six theta. And I think I'm done, right? I always want to check. So I go back over here, number seven, boom, I got it, right? And then I move on. I, I think you're going to be able to finish today's homework in class, right? Because we're just looking at these formulas. We're trying to apply them. Now, there's a, uh, how should I say this? There's this other set of problems that goes in the reverse order of what we were just doing. So if we have two signs that are added together, I'm going to apply this top formula up here, two signs added. So I'm going to try to apply that formula right there. And it's going to look like uh, two because there's a there's a two right there. Right. Then I've got sine of the two angles added together. So 75 and 15 makes 90. And then I'm going to divide. Oh, wait, let me undo that. Oops, I messed that up. Let me try again. So it says the sine of the two angles added divided by two. Forgot about the divide by two. So I get 90 divided by two. And then I take the cosine of the two angles subtracted. So 75 minus 15 is going to be 60. And it's going to be 60 divided by two right there. And let's go to the next step. So I get two sine of 45. Uh, times the cosine of 30. I don't know why I wrote that 45 that high. Uh, so the sine of 45 square root of 2 over 2, right? We're going to take 2 times square root of 2 over 2. And the cosine of 30 is that long leg. So that's square root of 3 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. See, my brain just kind of visualizes that long leg being on the X component, right? Like square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, right? If we had a 30 degree angle, okay? Uh, so anyways, 
is there some simplifying that we could do? Well, yeah, the two is going to divide out by the two right there. And we're going to have the square root of six over two. So the square root of six over two is what I'm anticipating being in the back of the book. So I jump to the back of the book and I look for a square root of six over two. And I just did number, what was it again? I did number four. Oh, four is not in the back of the book. Shoot. All right. Well, let's try number 17. 17, I'm, I'm looking at the sine of 4 theta minus the sine of 2 theta. So I've got the sine minus the sine. So I want to apply that formula right there. So I go uh, 2 times the sine of 4 theta minus 2 theta. See, my eyes are looking right there. 4 theta minus 2 theta divided by 2. Let me put that just down right now. 4 theta minus 2 theta, all that divided by 2 times the cosine of the two angles added together, 4 theta plus 2 theta divided by 2. And that's going to give us 2 theta divided by 2 is 1 theta. So I've got 2 sine theta cosine. That's 6 theta divided by 2 is 3 theta. Let's check this one because it's an odd number. So I should see on number 17, 2 sine theta cosine 3 theta. Let's see if that's true. 2 sine theta cosine 3 theta. Nailed it, right? All right. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you can finish this assignment in class. Let's let's celebrate a little bit. Celebrate your hard work. We're at the end of chapter seven right now, and we've dealt with a lot of formulas, a lot of really abstract stuff. You know, uh, it's pretty normal for you to say, well, what did I just do? You know, I'm just trying to become familiar with formulas that are out there so that when we're in calculus and we need one of these formulas, we can look it up and use it. All right. Thanks again for sticking with me and, and working hard. I appreciate it.